This podcast is Into the Airbnb, and I am j a e s o k Today's guest is Ri. He is preparing to run six listings in k e n a p in Utah. The listing is called Timber and Tin, C two bed, two bath, with pool and rooftop deck. Those are still under construction, and his first guest will arrive in May. There is no historical data about occupancy rate. They're actually duplexes. All right. And so there's going to be two、uh, two sides、um, of each. You know, so there's two sides to the duplex. Each side is about a thousand, a little over a thousand square feet. All right.、Uh, two bedrooms, two baths.、Um, it's going to be able to sleep. Let's、see how much it's going to be. Right. It was going to be able to sleep about seven in each side. Wow. So seven per unit. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get like fourteen people if like a big family decided to like stay there. Yep. Yeah. Fourteen people in you know in one、uh, one duplex, and then we could also you know do even bigger groups because there's going to be three duplexes.、Um, right. On the property, all right, all right. So, and then we've also、uh, we've put in a pool and、um, a nice recreation area, pavilion,、um, you know, outside、um, activities, and、uh, we've restored an old barn that was my great grandparents' barn. We restored that, so that's going to be a cool kind of gathering place for everybody that stays at the at the property. All right. Restored barn. What makes you get into this? I've always wanted to get into real estate investing. Just trying to find a way to get into it that makes that makes financial sense.、And、I feel like this is a way that you can get into it, even without you know necessarily finding the best you know super cheap low price deals that a lot of real estate investors are looking for. Right. I mean, you can you can still buy a, you know. A regular priced home or you know unit somewhere, yeah. And if you do it the right way, you can you can turn a profit and a good profit, get a good return on your investment with Airbnb, right? And you know just vacation rental, short term rentals. So that's kind of why I I started to get into it is because the financial opportunity is there. What's your like expected return or monthly profit? Oh yeah.、Profit? Okay. Right now, our expected ROI. Our big vacation rentals are in、um, Kanab, Utah, which is where I'm from. It's my hometown, and it's right in the middle of a bunch of different national parks: Zion National Park, the Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon National Park. So it's just a really beautiful area, and a lot of tourists come through here.、Yeah. Um, so we, you know, we're even if we calculate, you know, at the price point that we want to. Uh, you know, just a conservative price point that we believe we can get for the rental, and a conservative amount of nights booked a year, which we say, you know, a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars a night at our rentals, and two hundred nights a year is pretty, pretty average around here in, in Kanab in this tourist area. And so, with if if we hit those numbers, we'd be able to turn about a twelve to thirteen percent. Return on investment based on our expenses and what we'd be able to pull from it. Right. So, one hundred fifty dollars for two hundred nights. That's around thirty k per year. Are there like some long term rental demands as well? Yeah, there is.、Um, yeah, there's there's、right. there is some long term supply and demand.、Mm-hmm. Um, What's the know, like, right now?、Yeah. The supply is a little bit short. Um, right. As far as long long term rentals go, okay,、um, to meet up with the demand, at least where we're at, right?、Um, there's a lot, a lot of、uh, short term rentals just because of the location. This、okay. makes more sense financially to to have a, a solid sh-、uh, short term rental. And right now, are you just going to put it on? Like, have you just put on Airbnb or? Are you going, are you are you using other channels as well? Yeah, we'll be using Airbnb, VRBO, HomeAway,、um, and then we will also work to 
you know, get bookings through our own website, which we are currently building. Okay. Do you use any kind of like service to build a website? Um, we're just, no, I, I'm actually just building it myself. Okay. Using WordPress? Um, I'm actually using Wix okay. to build it. All right. Yeah. Right. Have you tried like, um, your portal app? I think they have a, like some kind of feature where you put the link and they generate a homepage for you. What's it called? Uh, your Porter app, I think. Your, okay. Yeah, but it, it's quite similar to like Airbnb UI, so I don't think that has too much values. Okay. Yeah. And um, how did you like price? Um, yeah, that's a good question. So the way that we've kind of looked at it is um, we try to price, you know, we obviously want to price competitively, but we don't want to, sometimes the Airbnb suggested prices are a little, little low yeah. um, or just, you know, not quite right for our market. And so we're pricing, um, we kind of priced day to day. We're always checking, you know, we'll always be looking at the prices. Um, so, you know, we have a set price that we don't want to go below, but then if we have, you know, days in between um, bookings that need to be full when the, once it starts getting closer to that time, then we can, you know, drop the price to um, see if we can fill those dates. Oh, I see. Right. So like you have yeah. the target night per year, which is 200 nights. That, yeah. that, that, that like, that boils down to like a little less than 20 nights per month. So if you don't get... 20 nights, if, if you don't get close to 20 nights per month, then you're going to reduce the uh, price to attract more guests. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And then as we're going, you know, if there's a booking where someone's there for, uh, you know, multiple nights and then there's two nights and then another booking for multiple nights. So two nights that are free, you know, once we start getting close to those nights and they haven't booked up, we'll start lowering the price just to see if we can get anybody in there. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I see. I see. So if you have like some gaps between bookings, you're going to like try finding the people to fill the gap. Yep, exactly. Right. I see. And um, I guess you haven't got your first guest yet. Um, no, but we have <clears throat> we have bookings in um, in May, so right. we have a couple of couple. We have a whole week long booking, um, yeah. like the starting like the fifteenth of May. They'll be here for a week. Right. In June, we have another week uh, where the whole place is going to be booked. Right. So we're starting to get bookings. We have a listing up. Um, we're just waiting to get. Get it all finished and take take final pictures and stuff. We can really get it get I it going. See. I see, right? And um, so, how did you do your market research then? Um, we just we know a lot of people around town that run Airbnb, B and Bs, and then we um, we went to the travel council got stats from them of how many people are coming through every night and how many are staying in hotels versus vacation rentals. And then we just did a lot of research on Airbnb um, ourselves, scrolling through, seeing what people are, um, you know, pricing their places at, seeing what the places look like and how we can gain a competitive advantage. Right. Mm -hmm. And so newer places um, with amenities like a pool or a hot tub, um, you know, always book out first. And so if we, we figured we could, you know, create a place like that, right. that we don't do well in the market. I see. So yeah, you've done like, you've asked the people around who are doing it already. And yeah, you've, you've done some research on Airbnb. Did you use like any kind of like market research tool, like AirDNA, MeshVisor, all the rooms? We we kind of we tried to look uh, we tried to use one of those right but the the town we're in is pretty small and so they didn't have a ton of 
um, there's a couple we looked at, but there wasn't a ton of data just about our town. Right. So we wanted, but I, we did look into using some of that. All right. That's, that's all the rooms, all the rooms, Airbnb, uh, Airbnb. Right. The two that we picked up. Right. So, like, okay. I mean, I I don't know about the location yet, so I cannot really comment about it. But so, were there are there any like more than hundred listings near the play near near your place? Yeah, yeah. There's um, there's about a little over two hundred. Right. Uh, like two two hundred fifty listings around around town. Yeah. And what was the problem with like the market research platform that you used? Uh, what was the what was the problem? Yeah, because you uh, said there wasn't enough data. Like you mean so like was there like. 200 listings on the platform or were there like only like less than 100 there was there's over uh 200 listings on on airbnb right. um and vrbo and yeah we just when we did our market research we just kind of tried to find like what what were people doing right and also what were uh, other uh, hosts not doing um that we could do and just kind of make our place more marketable Right, yeah, I, I understand that, but you mentioned that you try using market research platform like AirDNA or Mesh Research, yeah. but you said there was not enough data, right? Yeah. And what what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Um, they just didn't have they they had some of the bigger cities around us, right? Um, like that they had done, they had put the data together on. But they they uh, they didn't have it like wheelhouse pricing, uh, Air DNA, all the rooms. We tried to look up data just on our specific town, and for some reason there just wasn't a lot. Right. So. Okay. Yeah. And when you said there wasn't a lot, it's like less than half of them were not there. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. And do you use any other software to run your Airbnb? Um, other no, we just have a plugin on on our Wix right. site that we're able to, you know, have bookings, and then we, uh, and then we have a you know a schedule a scheduler for cleaning and stuff as well. Okay. The scheduler is integrated with Airbnb. Um, no, it's, well, yeah, it's a calendar that's linked to Airbnb and VRBO and all of the platforms. Right. Which one are you using? Um, so we were using, um, one, one rooftop. All right. One rooftop. Yeah. I haven't heard of this brand, but yeah, I'll take a look later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was it.